Picture this. It's late 2018. Feels like a lifetime ago, right? Like the whole damn world's changed since then. Enter me. Freelancing pretty regularly, working at a past desk job, and feeling creatively toast. I wasn't happy with the quality of the work I was producing, but without any buffer time in my life to actually practice my craft and grow as a photographer. What would you do? Well, if you're crazy like me, you'd respond emphatically with, start a podcast? Yep, that's right. Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Photo Forward Podcast, where we explore the stories behind some of the greatest visual storytellers in the world. From their photographic origins, to finding work-life balance as creative professionals, to how to actually make a living as a photographer, videographer, or multimedia creator, we uncover what makes them tick and their shutters click. I'm your host, Ben Brewer. It's become pretty trite to even say anymore, but back in 2018, the social media and digital world was changing in a big way. Remember again that January 2018 marked the beginning of Facebook openly and frankly saying that they were going to radically de-emphasize commercial content in the newsfeed and favor friends and family content over brands and pages. And in that creative toast that I described earlier, I was feeling more and more disconnected from my visual creator brothers and sisters, even though we were all connected and sharing on Facebook, Instagram, and the like. So it hit me. As a freelancer, the way to actually feel connected to a community of photographers, cinematographers, and more wasn't to drop my work off the cliff into the newsfeed. What I needed to do was start to create a community myself through teaching and learning from some of the most knowledgeable, talented, the kind of creators you've seen their byline and their work, but you don't yet know their story. It's now been a full year of creating content for the Photo Forward podcast, and whew, I finally feel like I can call myself an honest-to-goodness podcaster. And yes, that does sound as weird to me saying it as it probably does hearing it if you discovered this podcast from my photo and video work. So with that, I wanted to share a little bit of insight and five lessons learned from my first year creating this very Photo Forward podcast especially for any of you who might be considering doing the same, which I would highly recommend anyone start a podcast if you have a pulse and think you have a message to share with the world. So without any further ado, let's get into my five lessons learned starting the Photo Forward podcast in 2019. Number one, podcasting forced me to expand outside of my normal skill set as a photojournalist. Immediately upon telling people that I was going to start a podcast, I had to field questions like, what do you think you'll talk about? Do you think that photographers really want to sit down for an hour-long interview? Have you done this kind of thing before? These threw me into a fair share of tailspins as I started to do the legwork to get the podcast off the ground and interviewing the first few guests in person and over Skype. Sure, I'd recorded audio on set and interviewed people for documentaries or content marketing pieces, but nothing quite like that ultra real, authentic face to face or Skype podcast interview connection with no cameras, lights, and no crew in sight. There's something special to finding that extra level of vulnerability and deeply connecting with your guests face to face, eye to eye in person. Us visual creators often use our cameras as a shield of sorts. Sure, we can capture beautiful, moving, cinematic images, but we do so often at the detriment of actually experiencing those moments firsthand. Or maybe if we're experiencing them, we're not truly feeling them. So that's one of the things that really drew me to the format of the Long Form Interview Podcast where you get beyond those sound bites from the people that you're interviewing and really tap into the core of who they are. Number two, podcasting will, I repeat, will enable you to communicate more clearly in everyday life. It may sound like apples and oranges, but being a better private speaker makes you a better public speaker. You might be crammed into your jankily soundproof bedroom closet makeshift studio <clears throat> on microphone recording your interview introductions, 
but it for sure translates into being a more deliberate and confident public speaker. Because you're able to get immediate feedback on your speech, did I stutter through the delivery of that sentence? Why do I sound so sad or angry when I'm trying to make my voice sound happy? You can directly correct those accidental mannerisms that we mindlessly move past in everyday speech with colleagues, friends, and loved ones. Hearing and truly listening closely to your voice is an incredible way to make sure you're sharing the best version of yourself to the world. Number three. Closely related to number two, but unique to creating a podcast in the space that you work in, podcasting coaches you into being able to talk about your work in a deliberate, cohesive way. Again, like I mentioned earlier in the episode, us visual creators often don't have to practice justifying our work or explaining why we do what we do. We sort of chalk up certain creative decisions to going with our gut or thinking rationally on visual projects. The act of asking another visual creator about their technical style of their work or even talking through their career trajectory forces you as an interviewer to be precise in your creative language to get beneath the surface level, like where did you go and which gear did you use? Only once you start digging beneath those surface level questions can you actually start pulling out the wisdom and insight that you, the audience, actually care about. Number four. Creating the Photo Forward podcast allowed and required me to dive back into the memory box of history and put myself in the place of a new emerging visual storyteller. As I've talked about on the show before, when setting out to create the Photo Forward podcast, I had a few major goals for new listeners and creators in mind. Share the stories behind visual storytellers the world over. Give new photographers a repository of lessons learned and pitfalls to avoid, and provide critique, coaching, and mentorship as we grow the audience and following. We're still working on that last one, but this year that's going to be a big focus going forward. So, in order to make sure that the interviews resonate with both emerging and established visual creators, I had to hop in my photographer time machine and really think back to those, if I'm being honest, dark days of my early career. Wondering if this photography thing could ever actually allow me to provide for myself and maybe one day a family. Questions and doubts do change, but they never truly go away. So putting myself back into the shoes of a new creator ensured that I can create the best quality content for you all. Number five, podcasting will grow your network outside of the folks you normally interact with. Sure. As I was pulling together an initial list of guests to have on the podcast, I leaned more heavily on both people that I knew personally, as well as folks with some industry recognition. But as I kept completing interviews more and more, I would chat with guests after we'd finished and see who they think would make a good guest for the show and who would have some creative wisdom to share. This is another beautiful thing about podcasting. The more episodes we create, the wider array of guests we have on, the more the network effect of second and third degree connections grows. Essentially, my theory at the beginning of the podcast that the way to actually feel connected to a community of photographers, cinematographers, and more was to intentionally create a community myself through the show. We're just getting started, but I'm already reaching out to creators I never even knew about before getting started that I guarantee will bring you all an immense amount of knowledge and value in the months and years to come. So... There we have it. The top five lessons learned from my first year as a podcaster creating this Photo Forward podcast. I didn't really dive into the technical side of producing the podcast in this lessons learned episode, and that's kind of on purpose. Because honestly, I think the gear, gadgets, and programs that go into producing the show are so secondary to the personal and professional work necessary to create the show each week. But that being said, if any of you more technically oriented folks are interested in hearing more about some of the hurdles and lessons learned from the production side of the show, shoot me a DM on Instagram at bbrewerphoto, and if there's enough interest, I'll put together a quick primer. As much fun as creating this series in a vacuum and pushing content out into the void is, I want to hear from you guys. Are there topics or guests you'd love to get on the podcast here in 2020? Or are there some big nagging questions you've got on photography or video production that you'd want me to cover on one of these solo episodes? 
hit me up at B Brewer Photo or drop an email to podcast at photoforward.media. I want to make 2020 a much more collaborative, community-focused season of the Photo Forward podcast and can't wait to keep creating with all of you throughout the year. So, as always, keep seeing, keep shooting, and keep putting your best photo forward. Later. Thanks for listening to today's episode, everyone. You can find a full transcript of the show with show notes, links, photos, and more at photoforward.media forward slash podcast. Enjoying listening to the Photo Forward podcast? Want to hear more thought-provoking, engaging discussions about photography, business, and creativity? Well, this is where you come in. We want to get the word out as wide as possible about Photo Forward and reach as many listeners as possible. And the best way to do that is through reviews and recommendations on iTunes, Spotify, or wherever you consume your podcasts. If you want to support more engaging and intimate conversations with photographers, videographers, and storytellers the world over, head on over to the Photo Forward page and drop a review or even a rating. It means a ton to growing the show, and I personally read through each and every review to make this show the best damn visual storytelling podcast out there. Thanks for listening, and see you all soon.